Finding the RV that's perfect for you can be difficult. There are so many RVs to choose from. So today we're gonna talk about ways to find the RV that's perfect for you. We're here with Matt and Diana from Adventurous Way and they're going to explain the RV that they have. So we got Outdoors RV. 21 RBS, so that means the, the box is 21 feet, but the total length is just under 25 feet. And let everybody know why this, uh, why you chose this trailer. What was the, what were the number one things you were looking for on your list that was a must-have? So we want to visit all the national park units in the United States. So national parks, they often have size limits, how big rigs you can get in there. Mm -hmm. So size was very important. Um, also. Um, being able to be outdoors and get to the BLM lands or national park lands mm -hmm. near the national parks, that was a second most important factor. Perfect. All right. So, of course, as we said before, there are tons of RVs. So when you're deciding what RV is right for you, make your own personal list. Don't ask someone else which RV they think is perfect for you. So make your pros and cons list just like they did, and that's going to help you narrow down your search. So why don't we take a look at their RV and point out some of the specifics they were looking for and also see how they customize the inside um, to get just the perfect fit for everything you have to take with you on the road. So let's talk about some of the things inside side that led you to choose this RV? Uh, so one thing that we really liked is the large size of the dinette. we both working on the road so we can both work on the dinette with our laptops out and the laptops are not touching each other. This okay. is one of the largest dinettes we have ever seen in any RV. And that's true. When we are sitting at a table in our RV, we are usually fighting over computer space. So I can definitely relate to that. Uh, the second big feature was that when we put the slide in, um, there's still about foot and a half of space. That means we can get to the bed, we can open the fridge, we can eat. One time we even cooked uh, pizza in the oven when awesome. on the side of the road when the slide was still in. And of course we can get to the bathroom because that's by the door. And that's really important. So if you guys are looking for an RV, especially if you're going to live in it full time and, and actually travel a lot, make sure you have people close the RV up for you so yes. you can see what you can and can't get to. That's just as important as walking through the RV open. You'll be surprised at how many places or how many RVs won't allow you to go to the bathroom, yeah. open the fridge, or even get to your bed. Yeah. So if you're camping overnight at a Walmart, how are you going to sleep in the bed if you have to open all your slides? So a good point to think about. Yeah. Uh, our third favorite feature about this RV is the insulation. The insulation is very thick and that means it stays warm inside. It's also a smaller RV mm -hmm. and um, in uh, when it's, we can go, actually we're excited to go skiing and try yeah. it out in the winter temperatures. We have had freezing temperatures overnight and been, been totally warm. Last few days it's been about 40s mm -hmm. overnight and we our furnace doesn't even kick on and it stays like above 60 overnight. That's that's really awesome. So if you're part of the population that love the cold and the snow, which if you know me, you know I do not, um, this would be a great rig because it's well insulated. So it is made to go out in the winter yep. or even the summer. So if yes. you're in the Texas heat like we yep. were last summer and it's 105 degrees, this rig is going to stay much cooler than, than I'm sure our RV yeah, did. Yeah, and we did experience that last summer we were in Texas. In oh, okay. So you know, yes. <laughs> after you find the perfect RV for you, because we all, like we said earlier, there is no perfect RV. Everybody wants to make some modifications and some changes to make it work better for them. So what are some of the things that you did? So our big priority was installing uh, batteries. We installed 300 amps of lithium batteries and um, we are about to install solar on the roof to recharge those batteries. And yes, I'm jealous, by the way, just in case you're wondering. So we installed the batteries first. And then we can go about three, four days in cold conditions. In summer, it would be longer. But we first want to install just the batteries and uh, leave the solar for later so that we can figure out how much actually energy we use mm -hmm. and then size the roof panels accordingly. Because it's otherwise really hard to figure out just from reading how much you're going to use and how much solar do you need. Because why spend money on more than that? You the more than need. you need. The second upgrade that uh, we like, we um, change the fridge door. We put we took out the dark panels mm -hmm. that really kind of sucked the light and we yes. put in a whiteboard that costed like, it cost $23 from Walmart, uh, erasable uh, whiteboard. Mm -hmm. uh, we put it in and now it's useful. We can write our meal plans or any notes or sometimes even the date and the yes. day of the week. We yes. <laughs> just kind of lose track of that. And uh, an additional benefit of that is actually reflects more light now. Yes. 
And and that was a point we did in our RV. I tried to put as much white inside yeah. of it as I can because we all know, I don't know why they make everything so dark and brown. Yes. So light makes everything feel bigger and increases energy. So I think that was a brilliant idea. So I'm a little jealous about your electrical system. So I came over here. I want to check it out because you're probably going to make me cry. <laughs> but I want to see it anyway. So show me what you got. Okay, so we had to bring this inside because it's lithium batteries. So we chose to install this under the bed. Good call. And down here, you can see the upgrade. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Couple of things just to call out in here. Three big batteries. This is what lets us get off the grid. We can go to uh, dry camping spots, boondocking spots. We can camp there for three or four days and just not worry about power. Even with no solar coming in, we can just live in this rig, do our thing, charge laptops, anything we need to, all happens thanks to those batteries. This is like a gold mine. I mean, this is very impressive. It's pretty cool. And this is something we installed all ourselves. So we didn't get professionals in to do this. We spent seven days in the Texas heat in August last year, lying under the RV, pulling wires through to here, ripping out what was in here before. So you and did your own research, figured it out, had a plan, and this is where you wanted it. This is a exactly. brilliant, brilliant layout and idea. We, we also have storage drawers that go under here. And one of the big things for us was we have so little storage in this small trailer. Try to keep those. We wanted to keep those, those drawers. So we actually have full-size drawers on either side of here underneath. We ripped out the little shelf that was in here and completely rebuilt this to, to take all this stuff in here. We eventually want to boondock and, and live like you are. Um, how can you help me or anybody else that wants to live that lifestyle get to that point? So when we did this install, we spent a lot of time researching what we needed. And it really depends on what your priorities are, what you're prepared to trade off. For us in a small trailer, we don't, we don't have the luxury of installing loads of panels on the roof, right. giant batteries in a front storage bay. We have very limited space. And we said for us, our priorities were something small, something that wasn't too heavy, that would get us off grid for three to four days at a time with no solar coming in. And I think you've nailed that. It's working really well for that <laughs> yes. so far. So yeah. I would say just as you're thinking about your own install, think about what's important to you. Do you have a generator that you can run? Are you okay doing that? We don't even own a generator. So for us, that was a, a big constraint we right. had. Go through that list, make that set of priorities, and really decide for your lifestyle, for what you're trying to achieve, what's most important for you, and what you're okay with trading off. You've captured everything that you've done, and where have you put that? Where can I find that? So on our blog, you can find uh, a series all about our electrical upgrade install. The first series, that first post in that series, is all about why we did what we did. Okay. It was all about the introduction and the goals, what we wanted to get out of the system. Okay. And so if you start with that post, it's a great way to say, what would my system look like? What do I need to achieve? What am I really aiming for? Okay. And as the series progresses, we talk through exactly how we did this. Nice. And so all of that is on our blog, and you can see a link in the description below for that. Nice. All right, man, let's talk about some of the things on the outside of the outdoors RV. Absolutely. When we were looking at our trailer, we want something small. We also want something with really good clearance. We tend to go to boondocking spots, places that are a little out of the out of the way. This has amazingly good clearance. It's way higher clearance even than my truck. And uh, you can see here, we can go over anything. We can climb curves, which I probably do too often. We can go down dirt roads, all those sorts of things. Now, the next thing that we really value on this one is the suspension. So if you see under here, this came from the factory with the Moorite suspension system, the CRE 3000. Hugely, hugely impressive system, this one. It allows the, the two axles to move independently. Wow. So we can go on really bumpy terrain, we can drop this thing over a curb and you barely even feel it because one axle just follows the other really smooth. Gives it a nice smooth ride inside, stops things getting shaken around. Uh, love that system. You'd think that would be the industry standard on trailers. I know. The last thing that was really important to us on here was having a really large water tank. So even though we're here on a 21 foot trailer, we have a 78 gallon water tank on wow. here. Absolutely huge. The great thing about this is though, they've really thought through the design of this trailer. And this is actually the filler cap for it. And you can see it's directly above the axles. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that big tank, whether it's full or empty, it doesn't change the weight distribution of the trailer. It's always just there, sitting above the axles. Diana for letting us intrude and walk around their RV and pick their brain a little bit. 
As you can see, they picked the RV that is perfect for them. And they've also taken this RV and they've tweaked it and made improvements so they can do everything they want to do from going to the mountains, being in the snow, going skiing, all the way down to the heat of Texas. Yeah. This is going to work perfect for them. Yeah. So one final question before we go, are there any specific tips that you want to give to somebody who's looking for that perfect RV? My tip would be to rent a few different RVs and try it out. Try for size, try for layout. You will learn things that you wouldn't learn otherwise. For example, the one of the RVs we rented, we realized that there are RV queen size beds that are shorter than regular queens and our feet are hanging over and we did not come across that, that in research. Yeah, you don't want that. That would never happen for me. Great, yeah, <laughs> Great tips though, those are absolutely, that's something that we didn't do that we probably should have done um, but in our review process of different RVs, when we found ours, we just knew it was right. So those are absolutely yeah. great tips. And anything you want to add to that? I think just know what you want. Um, I think you can find an RV for any purpose, for any type of camping, for any yes. kind of trip. And if you just walk into a dealer, they will just sell you whatever they want to sell you. That's right. Yeah. So decide what you want to do, what's important to you. And what you're okay trading off. Maybe right. you already have a, a truck that you want to tow with, so now you've got a limit on how big you can be. Find out what those things are for you, what matters, and that'll right. help guide your research. Right. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Make yeah. your make your list, your priority list. Exactly. You know, are you only gonna stay in campgrounds? Are you gonna boondock? What is your plan when you start RV and then go from there? Yeah. Exactly. So all right. Thanks everyone. Thanks again for joining Thanks, us. Guys. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you on, on the road. road. Good. good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. We just like standing here like this. <laughs> <laughs> Please. He's probably us. like, oh, creepy. What's <laughs> happening over there? So, when we were shopping for our RV, we had a number of Stop. things that were. I moved in there. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So, what's the third thing? That was the third thing. thing. Oh, shit. Woke up this morning like, we didn't eat yesterday. You know, you know what he woke up and said was, you haven't fed me in two days. <laughs> Six beers, I guess, got me through the night. All right, and let's talk about the other one. Is there one more? Or did no, I lose count just, again? No, just two. Okay, that's, all right, that's perfect. All right, Dan, let's talk some... Wait, some blah, 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 blah. Uh, what, who? I want to say Dan, because uh, he said it. And they also made some upgrades, so they... Damn it. All right. How about you have exactly what I'm dreaming of? <laughs> okay, okay, maybe not that in front of the bed. With a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Look me in the eye when you say help. <laughs> And then we just fall onto the bed. You can make my dreams come true. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's all mine. <laughs> That's what I get to work with right there.